But seriously, are you really gonna trade in your FRS? Yeah. Maybe you should ask the fans what they want. All right, fans, Static Garage Bros. STI. If, if your dream car, say your dream car is like an M3, right? E46 M3. Okay, I know you won't because you have a lot more money invested in time. But mine, like I barely started my build like a year ago. Would you trade in your car, put it back to stock, trade your car in, and get your dream no, car? No, no, nah, nah, you Brand can't say new. it like that. Would you trade in an FRS for an 05 STI with only 2,000 miles? Mint condition, obviously mint condition. I would. You would. I would. If I looked at you in the face? Oh, I would. I can maybe. always. Depending how much well, it is. It's not a maybe. Full. Okay. Depending. Well, you guys an FRS, full, this like went from stock to stock. I know, bro. But think about it. Can you afford it? I can afford it. Does he and said the you... payments are only going to be like $100 more than the FRS. That's nothing. FRS? Yeah. <laughs> Finally, you admit it. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. I hear it. Right. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Static Garage. Today, we are going to be putting on my rear wheels for the E30. And it is long awaited because... I was trying to dial in the front fitment and I'm actually running into some issues right now. I'll be showing you what happened to my fender. It is beat. I finally put in the order last month and we did order from 42 Draft Designs, the same company that I ordered the front spacers or adapters from. And they're obviously custom made, they're made to order because I made them match my hub and bore for the wheels and the knuckle. They were supposed to ship out literally a week later and I ordered it the 23rd of last month and right now is the 19th I did email them a couple times but I didn't get any response but luckily they sent it out after weeks of waiting and that is why I haven't had any content for the E30 pretty sure it's gonna be tucking rim and that's the goal guys title of this video tucking rim or tucking MB battles on the E30 tucking quarter panel <laughs> oh whoa 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 chill dog what's up bro what's up, that's cool though we're gonna see how good this thing is because it was actually on sale at Costco. So if anyone wants to um, check these out, they're about like $900 to $1,000. On their website, it's $1,400. So we're going to see if we can install this today and see if it fits under the E30. I'm hoping it does. If not, we can obviously put the wheels on wood blocks. But this is going to be making working on cars so much easier. We're going to eliminate jack stands and we're going to be able to raise it a lot more. So if we want to do an engine swap, we already can. It's official. We're opening up a shop. Bring an LS and STI. Ah, fool, you can't do that. 2,000 miles. I'm saying. What do you think about the quick jacks, though? Are you excited? Pretty bad. As long as we can line them up on these tiny pads. We are going to have to grind a piece of this quarter panel so more like that lip doesn't hit it. I'll have to grind it. So, obviously, the body work, Cha Cha Customs. Introduce yourself. Hi, guys. My name is Stephanie. I'm here at Static Garage. Hi, I'm Stephanie. <laughs> We're going to be trying these wheels on so we know where it's gonna hit so we can mark it so static chat can do all the work and grind it you're so mad look at him ah. <laughs> stuck, Daddy. Hey, to grind it. i did go with a different tire setup on the rear it's really similar but it has more of a stretch and it's taller it's a 205 40 these wheels are a nine a 17 by 9 the fronts are 215 35 these are a little cheaper if you're trying to go with this type of stretch Oh, nope. Oh, shit. If you compare the two, they're literally the bit, virtually the same because this tire is way bigger. So technically, it should be tucking. And that's another thing why I didn't really want to get the rear set up first was because I wanted to get a garage stick adjustable subframe, which you're allowed to do tow, camber, all that good stuff. But we should be able to grind it off, and it's not that bad, actually, the fitment. We're almost sold out of static garage merch. Are we? Yeah, like we have like no mediums. We only have like large in one size and like extra large in the other. So you yeah, guys better look, cop. Danny's trying to have me die. This is fucking cricket. Look at this. What is that? It's like. <laughs> All thanks to Cha Cha with his um cutting skills. Sick ass fool. Damn. Look at that. Woo. Dude, nothing's perfect. It might barely hit the the wheel, but we're, we're gonna have to see. Once we set the other side up, um, we'll try to make it as stiff as possible. From the back, it looks perfect, and it looks like there's no it looks like there's no rack. And if you get the no rack or rake, it's when the quarter panel on the rear is always lower than the front fender. 
So if you see some cars that are slammed that have the rear tucking but the front not, that's just because of the rack. They want it very even so the whole car is even from the front to the rear. That's why on, on my BMW, you can see that the ass is up even though the wheel, even though the fender to wheel is literally the same. Chacha's gonna go take the car for a drive real quick just to see if the rear wheel is hitting. Is it clearing? Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, like, is it gonna start heating up the paint right here when it's rubbing off fast? Hold on, I'm gonna try getting onto the driver's seat. We're gonna see if he's able to make it up Daniel's driveway. Going? He's sliding his credit card. Damn, dude. Shit's straight tugging. Can you move? Eden's just trying to see if there's any spots at all that aren't clearing just so we can get the cement right out of the way and all it good. Has a hard spot right here. Cha Cha and I and maybe Eden unless he leaves right now are gonna be taking over because my little bebe is broken. He has a Chest condition. I don't know what the name of it is. Pretty much, it's where like the middle of your chest gets inflamed, and like it, it can literally be caused by the simple movements. Like you can literally be doing something like that, what doesn't put stress on it, and you can't even breathe in hard. Like you can't move yourself a certain way. And the last time it happened, it was one of the worst. And I was actually at work working on a fucking tundra. But that one was really bad. I actually went to the doctors right away. That was the first time. Well, the second time I went to the doctors, but like literally right after it happened and they prescribed me some some medicine but like stephanie knows and everyone knows i don't like taking pills like that's the least of my worries to take painkillers all right do round two round second two. side huh? let's get it going Thanks, you ready danny ah yes i'm about to tub out your car and then we're gonna tape off right here because on the other side this is the new quarter panel a little bit it's a yeah. new quarter panel but Okay, so it looks like they got the 5,000 pound capacity one. So let's see what's in this box. But what is that? Uh, one side with <laughs> one kidding. fucking compressor, and then looks like where the so, air goes. So, so that's the compressor. Probably. I don't know. I think it is. I've never had one of these before. All right, guys. So we're almost done putting this together. You see, eating over there is. Uh, we just need to finish doing that and then connect them to the compressor, and I think we'll be all set. I'm so many six. Two days later, which is today, we didn't end up finishing the video just because it did get dark and alongside my little chest condition that I've been having, I also, I think I'm getting the cold or the flu. Pretty sure it's the cold because I'm not dying, dying. I was dying earlier, like really, really bad. And I got some Theraflu and it makes me feel better. But Shout I- Shout out to Theraflu. Yep. But my whole body hurts and I have a severe stuffy nose if you guys can hear it, but kind of failed on something. Kind of broke it the quarter panels. Um, Cause on one side there's Bondo, which I always make fun of Bondo, but I guess my car has some of it on the quarter panel. I so, mean, we only put it ourselves. I know, but like the thing is like, we didn't know there was so much Bondo cause that Bondo we added, as in me and Chachen, wasn't a lot, like at all. Like it was, like if you tap on the whole car, all of it's metal. Like I've told you guys before, we're gonna fuck shit up. We're especially gonna fuck up the fenders and quarter panels, but we are gonna be repainting this car because you guys know I'm not that happy with the outcome. So I'm probably gonna reshoot it and that's when I'm gonna pretty much do all the body work and fix all the waviness and make it look really, really good. We also installed the mini lift, which I'm sorry we didn't show you guys yesterday, but it was leaking a little bit. Look, it's even leaking more. So many sides. We don't know where it's leaking from. And now. It goes so slow. Cool. 
at the end, dude. Like, when I first did it, I was hella shocked. This is probably the best investment Martin and I have made so far. Ever. Because it's gonna be so much easier to do certain things, especially if we wanna drop subframes like we did on Static Chachos car and drop other things. Ooh, I know where it's leaking from. The good thing about this is we can drop it and literally just detach this quick release piece um, that's sealed and then I'm just gonna tie in this down again because the other side is good and we don't want it staining the floors because we just pressure washed this. Since we are going to be doing the tummy belt and all the coolant hoses, we also did get the reservoir today, which is so nice. Clean. Like, have you seen, have you guys seen the old one? Bruh. I could probably sell this car for like $3,000 more just because of this. <laughs> think about it. Let me know what you guys think about this setup because I really, really like it. The wheels look so good. They are a bit big, and I feel like a lot of people aren't gonna like them as much as I do. Trust me, I'm not a fan of donks. You don't know what donks are? But this looks just so good, and it's very JDM inspired, just like how I've always wanted it. And so many people have been bugging me to put the damn real wheels on. And see what we have to do? We have to start fucking things up. Let me show you guys. Uh, this is not as bad. This one's chilling. But it was bound to happen, especially because we didn't use a fender roller. This one's just about to fall off. I think it's right here. Which is all Bondo, which is terrible. I'm not trying to stress on it too much because overall the car is coming together so good. And I'm just more happy about the mini lift than anything, to be honest with you. But on that note, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you guys on the next one.